Hey y'all, I am the Creative Lady, aka Nathalicious TV. In today's video, I've got um, an update for you guys and a couple hauls for you. So if you wanna see what I'm updating and hauling, keep watching. So today is January 29th, 2020. So January 29th, 1913, Alpha Kappa Alpha became incorporated, which meant that we were branded in perpetuity. We are here to stay, okay? 107 years. Anywho, so today, the ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha, you probably saw us in pink and green everywhere, pearls everywhere, hair flips everywhere okay so it was a fun 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 day today uh this hair flip i'm telling you y'all these braids have loosened up oh child a leaf of your pee wait till i get them locks okay but anywho y'all in my last ivy box unboxing i was not sure whether i was going to wear the jacket i said i was 90 percent sure that i was not going to wear the jacket honey look at here She's wearing the jacket, okay? Look, I had to wear the jacket because I did my research and I realized, okay, Alpha Kappa Alpha is in partnership with the Ivy Box and anytime you use the Alpha Kappa Alpha crest, you have to have written permission. I am 100% sure that Ivy Storehouse did the thing and so i'm like okay legend had it for us ladies who were um trained and taught and, and you know shared it's just like a legacy of oral history okay it's things that you did or did not do and we just took that to heart okay so i had to for my own self go into <laughs> okay i don't want to show too much but the bylaws and procedures okay can't show you too much but it's not a violation to put the crest on the back it's something new and innovative so shout out to the ivy storehouse for bringing us on into 2020 okay so yeah if you're feeling some kind of way as many of us may have been feeling conflicted unsure okay all right and i was physically a few steps away from being able to ask the president okay so let me just uh not say too much but everything's good okay so uh yeah so we rocked these ivy storehouse boxes and shirts and jackets and jargon supply y'all go ahead then all day i am extra animated y'all because it has been a long day but it was a fun day we had a faculty meeting after work and you know it's just like I'm, you know what, I'm going to be honest. If you know me, you know that I bring the fun. And you see me here, and y'all think I'm funny, but who, if you knew me in real life, OMG. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, got that out. Now, on my eyes, today's been a long day. I wasn't sure how my makeup was going to hold up. Foundation, I've got on my Kat Von D Lock It, and this is Deep 78 Neutral. This is like the perfect shade for me to cover up my hyperpigmentation and it lasts all day. Eyeshadow. This is my first time breaking open. Look, I didn't even finish opening it up this morning. This is my first time trying the crayon case or washable eye glue. And this is the, um, the crayon case eyeshadow primer. Let me tell you, I didn't know what to expect. This is what it looks like. I don't want to waste too much, okay? Because this was some good stuff. Okay, it looks like that. And then you rub it in and it disappears. It goes clear. I wasn't sure what to expect. Now I wish I had gotten a couple more. But this should last for a while. But if you're looking for an eyeshadow primer, give the crayon case a try. I love, love, love Supercent and her brand. Love it. I'll link my crayon case hauls and playlists up here if i can but yeah this is what it looks like you know her whole premise is everything looks like school supplies okay so i got that and it look let me see if i can take these eyes off i'm a little oily but you see that that makeup the eyeshadow i feel like it stayed on all day and the eyeshadow palette that i used this morning just to put a little wash of pink on was this right here this is a juvia's place uh the berries by juvia's and if, in case you haven't seen it i did a haul on this but i'll show you 
the shades. I still got this little stupid thing on there, but uh, this is the color. These are the colors. And I think the color I put on this morning was a combination of this one here and this one. Okay. I'm a little oily here because it's been a long day, but I think the eyes held up. Okay. But yeah, so I got all of the the minis. Y'all have been running. I'm out of breath. Ooh, you don't even understand, but this is what I got on my eyes, okay? Um, so, talked about the jacket and everything. So, this particular haul is, is in reverse because I did, I did a haul on Friday. I filmed it, but I didn't post it yet. So, it'll be an Ulta haul that I will link up here. I might have to edit it down because it was chitty chatty. It's a Blaine Brandy Gears haul. Maybe tomorrow or the next day I'll publish that video. But yes, yeah, some Ulta and I'm blaming Brandy because it's her fault. Okay, so today's haul, this is probably the heaviest Sephora bag I've ever walked out of Sephora with. Okay, I went into the Sephora. Okay, look at here. Brandy Gears, girl. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Okay, I can't blame this one on you, but I just want to call your name. <laughs> but Alifia P, step away. You don't have to watch this video. Do not watch this video. But I don't think you're going to be... Um, I don't think you're going to be bothered by too much. So you can stay. I think you can stay, uh, Alifia. So, let me put my ass back on so she can see. But, y'all, uh, let me see. I walked into the Sephora to get one item and see what helps me is when i order online when i order online i just get what i want and, and get out of there i order click and be done because i ordered some things from ulta this week and i just got the two things that were on sale the morphe setting spray is two for 22 i think they're regularly like 16 or 18 dollars a can i got some here somewhere but i can't put my hand on it but anywho i like it so, they were two for 22. It might be still on sale. So, I'm going to tell y'all about it before I even get it. Because it's going to be next week before it, come, before it comes to me. But, um, the Morphe Setting Spray is two for 22 at Ulta right now. So, that's what I ordered. But, um, anyway. So, I just got just those two items. But, today I went into the Sephora to get this, um, and part of my ring light, y'all. It is just on everything. But, this is the Micro Smooth uh, the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I've never had a Sephora powder. And I heard that it's kind of reminiscent of one of my favorite powders. Hold on, y'all. I hear that it's kind of like the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish. And this is mine. I am in the shade Deepest Dark. So this is the Deepest Dark. You see, I'm, I've hit pain. Okay, getting pan on this thing. I love this powder. So, I got this one. And I got this shade, um, Deep. Whatever that is. Deep, deep, deep ebony or something like that. I'm going to try to get into it and show you all. Y'all, I know I ain't cooking. The mailman must be heating up something. Okay, this is the Sephora powder. Okay, it's rounded like a little mound. Like when you first get the mineralized skin finish. Okay. This is what it looks like. I'll show you this one. I got the deepest one because I wasn't sure. And you might not be able to see it too good, but I got that. I'll compare it to the MAC one. And this is in the deepest dark. Hold on, y'all. So I think they look kind of similar in the pan. So I'm going to swatch a little bit of that. Yep, they look very similar. You can't even tell. So I'm not going to waste the time with trying to show you. But I did go ahead and break down and get the Sephora. Uh, what is it? Whatever this is. The Micro Smooth blah, 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 blah <laughs> powder. Okay. I need to put some on right now. Okay, so let me put a little powder on while I finish up. I can get some of this shine away. What am I going to put on? Okay, maybe this, powder, this uh, brush. Now, this brush, I think, is a e.l.f. brush. It's clear. I've had it for a couple of months. I just did not want to get it dirty. I know that's foolery, but but anyway. So let's see. Anywho, y'all, and if it doesn't look right, I'm just trying to get the shine down, okay? But yeah, so I went up into the Sephora to uh, pick up this powder because I had seen it all over the internet forever and ever. 
and I wanted it. So I finally went in to get it. And to get only this. How so be ever. Okay. Okay, it's good enough. Um, ended up, the way they got this thing set up, I look around. And I got the powder. So then I look around. I'm like, oh, there's the Fenty Beauty display. So I'm like, okay, let me just look over there. I looked and I went. So I'm like, okay, well, let me just check out the brow pencil. This is the Fenty Beauty. Uh, what is it? The Brow MVP. I got the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP. And the shade that I ended up getting, because it was a lot of shades to choose from that were brown. And I tested them all on my little thumb part right there. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know. So I didn't want to be too, too, too dark with the brow. Because let me tell you what I used. Uh, look, on a regular day, y'all, this is so janky. But, okay. If I can't find it, I won't show you. But it is so janky and cheap. Okay, I can't find it. But it is what I use on a regular day. It is not anything fancy, but it's like the 99 cent or two for a dollar Jordana brown pen at uh, Walgreens, y'all. And I use it on my lips and I put it up on my eyebrows. It's And I use a light hand. Okay, I use a light hand when I'm using that. And I, I was in a hurry this morning, so I don't know where I stay. Okay, y'all. I don't know. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop after I can't find it in here. But you know the 99 cent Jordan or 2 4 dollar whatever. That's what I got on my brows up here. Okay, and it just <laughs> use a light hand. But this is the, the uh, brow MVP by Rihanna. And I was like intrigued. I'm like, okay. And I realized, let me tell you, I am a retail therapy kind of girl grief grief will make me you know try to go shopping and do a little retail therapy so you know everything that's going on with losing kobe bryant i wasn't even a, a basketball fan but it's just someone that you've seen and it's just it's just a connection and and if you follow me on instagram it I found a post that helps me to deal with my grieving of people that I didn't even know, like celebrities and stuff like that. But just hearing even just the tragedies around the world when things happen to other people, not just celebrities for me. It's like, oh, I know the, the, for me, it's the humanness of it all. But I'll try to leave a link to a post that I posted on Instagram that brought it full circle for me that said, okay. Yes, this is it. So I'll leave it linked down below because this is going to be a direct upload. But this is the pencil from uh, Fenty. And I got whatever shade of brown I told you I got. And, okay, this is the, um, what do you call this thing? The brow pencil. Okay, so you twist it up. And I'll go ahead and swatch it for y'all. I got a, is it a medium brown? I got like a medium brown. You might not be able to see. Let me see. Maybe if I put it right here right there so it's not too too dark i don't want to have too too dark of a brow and then what was also intriguing you hear that Ooh. okay this little wand look at that can you see okay look at the wand it feels like one of those little um you know we were all abuzz about the little you know the brushes the let's see if i can find oh here go one you remember these little brushes, though? I don't know what they're called. This is, you remember those little? Yeah. So it's kind of made like some of those, okay? It's a little flat. So we'll see. So I got that. It ain't cheap. But like I said, grieving and retail therapy, I'm still dealing with the loss of my BFF. So this is Judgment January. You can judge me for my retail spending. I don't care. <laughs> Cause I gotta get through. I gotta, I gotta cope through, and I, you know, I ain't asking nobody. You know, YouTube gives me a couple of coins. You know what I'm saying? So, so after I left from over in the Sephora powder, and after I saw the Fenty, I turned back around and looked, which I should have just went to the counter, but no. I'm like, well, Ben, that you in here, lady? 
go ahead on and get the Sephora Pro Face Palette, okay? I have been seeing this for a while here on YouTube. I have wanted it, and I'm like, girl, go ahead. Treat yourself. Go ahead, treat yourself, okay? Go ahead. So, that's what I did. So, I got the Face Palette. It was the last one on the shelf. So, I felt like, okay, self. Okay, this is my first two. This is it comes with a little card, a pro face palette, and I got the shade deep, I suppose. Okay, got it in deep. It's got I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at, but this is like a a card, like a the guide to show you how to make it work, like you know, with different looks on here. You got the blush moment, you got the Hollywood highlight. You, know, you never know when you're gonna end up in Hollywood, child. Okay, and then, oops, the whole little leaflet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, For different looks, and to show you how to use the items inside to achieve the looks. And I love that they got a brown person for the brown, okay, palette, the deep palette. Okay, oh, it's in different languages. So, this is, um, I guess, French or... French, probably French on the back. I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so this is the Sephora Pro palette. Oh, I never thought I wanted this to, until today. Because when you're shopping online, like me, if I can't see it in person, it's like, meh. And I can just pass it by. But if I'm <laughs> oh, in the store, if you've never seen this palette, y'all look at this right here. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at the... I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with this. But when I saw the sample, I was like, oh, look at that. Maybe blush or a highlighter and chat, a contour. I'm not a contourer. But eyeshadow. Oh, this thing was gorgeous. And look at how she got her face off. Or um, could be him. Might be he or he. You know, I don't know. Makeup is for everybody. Look. Okay, so, am I going to swatch this? Okay, I'll swatch it on my hand. Okay, we got L.A. Okay, L.A. And the pan sizes are humongous. Okay, look. Okay, I'm just going to go through. And this one is called Premiere. Okay, ooh, look at that. Ooh, y'all, look at that. I ain't got nothing to wipe my hand on. Okay, so that, you could go in, maybe build it up. Because this thing, oh, yeah, you can build it up. The next one is called After Party. Okay, the Grammys just happened. I'm sure there were plenty of after parties. That's After Party. Okay, ooh, look at the After Party. And that's a little light, but you know, go back in through there. Build it up. You don't want to look clownish from the very beginning. Ooh, y'all, my battery low. I got to go. Hurry up. Okay, uh, Epic. Okay, let's try Epic with ooh, the chocolate brown. Ooh, get down. Okay, it's like an ash brown in a way. Okay, so I can wipe this on. Oh, here's a paper towel. Look at her. I got lipstick stuff on it from this morning, but uh, okay. Now, so then I'm gonna go in with the red carpet. It looks kind of orangey because she ain't got the glasses on, but red carpet. Look at it, it's a matte shade. All of these, well, it's a mixture. The first one was like a shimmer. Okay, that's the red carpet. Again, it's sheer buildable. Okay, and then here comes, ooh, glitz. Okay, here comes glitz right here. Glitz, okay, it's glitz right here. Look at that, reminds me of something in that jacket ironer palette, I think. Ooh, cha, okay, and then this is Queen. Queen is reigning supreme, okay. Queen is here, Queen is right there, y'all. Ooh, she janky. Okay, ooh, I'm gonna show all y'all. And then the last one in here is called, ooh, look at here, Jet Setter. Jet Setter, it's like a chocolate milk, chocolate brown. Y'all, this stuff don't want to get off my hand. It's, it's probably cross-contaminated, but anywho. Okay, so let me put this away. It's got a big mirror on here. Okay, so let me show you. Sorry, y'all, but you know, it's a janky place. Look at these shades right here. That's the Jackie Ina-esque shade that's in the palette, you know. Can I get to the Jackie Ina? Y'all, hold on. Ooh, she's so janky. Ooh, the janky, janky. Okay, here's the Jackie Ina. And one of these shades in here reminds me of one of these in here. And it might be uh, Lituation. Is it Lituation? Not Lituation. One of these in here, when you put it on, 
it kind of reminds me. And look, see, you're doing all kinds of janky stuff now. I don't know. But anywho, one of these shades in here reminds me of this. But look at these shades in here. This is from the Sephora Face Palette. Ooh. Okay. Now, here is where the Judgment January really, really, really begins. Do I have anything on here to hold this hair back? Because I might snatch my own head off. But anywho, okay. Did not, but let me show what they gave me for free, okay? Because <laughs> I'm not going to... Oh, I'm so ashamed, y'all. But this is what she gave me for free. I don't know what it is, but... I don't know. Some kind of little kit. I don't know. Uh, caviar something i don't know child i don't know what is this trying to meal man cooking something good up in there Ooh, i hope it's something enough for me okay let me see okay it's like a whole little a 500 point set of something very fragrant smells nice i don't know what this is y'all it's like a cc cream it's a cc cream like a makeup i don't know i don't know this is a Shampoo? Y'all, this hair care stuff. Child, this hair care stuff. What am I going to do with this? Replenishing prime. Is this leave-in conditioner? Okay, this. Child, I thought this was some face, uh, facial stuff, like a skincare. But, anywho, because other stuff they had didn't look like nothing I wanted. But, you know, maybe when I take the braids down in a couple of months, or maybe I can use it on it. I don't know. Anywho. 500 points. But anywho, here comes the Judgment January. I'm just going to go on and show you. I'm not going to swatch it. I'm not. I I'm not. You're not going to make me. Because I ain't got time or battery low. Okay, bam. These have lingered in my cart at Sephora, at Ulta. They have lingered. I have watched every video on YouTube about the Norvina palettes, y'all. Only reason I didn't get the light blue one is because it wasn't in stock judge me i'll wait but i just left a place called work you know what i'm saying well make that money baby okay so anywho y'all let me show you real quick what got me it was this this hair y'all oh it, it's it's oh anyway forget the hair this norvina palette i love purple love purple and i wanted this palette when it came out and i was like nope you got Anastasia palettes, you got purple palettes, you got single purple, you got lipsticks you can put on. But when I saw this in the store, because I have never seen it in person, it was like, oh my god, it was just like some type of magic. Mm. Got a mirror. Oh, look at the mirror. And I can't show you the mirror because you know it's janky up in here right now. But it's got a huge mirror. Okay. Then, got the little, you know, the little thingy thingy here. And no big deal. But when I swatched these purples, I about fainted in the store. I'm sorry for the glare from my light. But look, yes, I might have every one of these shades somewhere in here. But the formula, when I put them on my, oh, child. I don't have nowhere to put it in there. I need to get on off this thing, but. I'll tell you who got some beautiful swatches, and I will link her videos up here. Kelsey Brianna J. She swatched everything. If you don't know Kelsey Brianna J, get to know her, because she is my one of my favorites to watch, okay? I think she's, I didn't know she was local, like kind of Nashville-esque, but yeah, she's a, a Tennessee girl. But look at that. Ooh, I'm going to leave her videos, because she, she gets them all, and she, she does the darn thing with the with the makeup y'all and so i'm gonna swatch i'm not, not gonna swatch it okay so next i picked up the, uh, i don't know what the name of these things are but i'm just gonna call it what it is the orange one what is this called abh collection oh it's pro pigments volume t uh three so this must be volume one so the purple palette was volume one and that's what i was expecting when i got the novena purple palette but um i got it in here y'all it's janky hold on but i got the norvina palette hold on y'all the janky janky 
because I'm leaning over this chair that's trying to throw me out the room. Okay, when I got the Norvina Purple, this is what I was hoping for. But it was, you know, like this. And I like these shades. They were nice. Very nice. I like them. You know, I use this palette. Um, But what I wanted was the equivalent of that purple palette that's got all the shades of purple and everything. Anywho, Norvina Volume 3. Okay, volume three. Okay, so let me show you volume three. I'm not going to tell you how much these things cost. If you want to know, go Google Smoogle, okay? Look at this. I'm like, I don't need that. When I, you know, I, I, it's been in my box, in my kit, in my cart for months since it came out, like what, November? I don't need this. However, you know, retail therapy and you know when you're going through some things it's good for the stores and bad for you but you know you get something in return look at these y'all again kelsey brianna j did an excellent job of doing looks and everything with these palettes look at that can you see that oh it's 26 minutes i'm sorry y'all but if you love makeup and stuff you'll stick and stay look at that see i didn't think i needed it needed this when i got this palette right here when I got this right here, y'all, please don't you fall. Okay. Ooh, with the janky show. Y'all, I'm trying to open this thing up. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh, don't you fall. Okay. When I got this right here, remember when I got the... Ooh. Ooh. Remember when I got this palette right here? I thought, well, surely... I don't need this because I got this. And some of the colors do look similar, but it was just like a whole lot more when I got the, I think this is the um, Violet Voss when I got this. And I think I may have done some swatches. I don't know. But yeah, got that. But, and I use this palette. I like it. But this right here, it was just like, hello. Anywho. I will eventually, at this point, because I am somewhat of a completionist, get the volume two, which is the the um, blue looking one. So I'll probably get that. But anywho, y'all, that's all I'm gonna do today. Yep, because I need to show you the altar haul. If I would do it, if I had everything in here, but I don't. Oh y'all, I'm lying. Mm -mm. I got something else. Okay, it's 27 minutes. Stick with me, y'all. It, it, Cause I need to get this over with. Cause okay, so the mailman, you know, I told y'all he pretty much ninety percent of his day is work from home. Okay, so I got this confirmation that a package had been delivered, and I'm like, mailman, you at home? He was like, no, I'm out. That's the blah blah blah. I was like, oh my god. I said, okay, you gonna be home? He said, I'll be home in about thirty minutes. I said, okay. Because I had got confirmation that a box had gotten there. I'm like, oh my goodness, I need this box picked up. Now, nobody's taking anything from me yet. But it's like, I don't want nobody to see this thing. Because this is a, ooh, y'all, a thing. Okay, so, stick with me, y'all. And I promise you, the next time I do a video, it's going to be short. So, I'm going I'm to uh, edit that altar haul down. So, it'll just be like, bam, take it and look. Okay? So... Let me show y'all what this is from. Then you're going to understand my foolery. It's from Converse. Okay, I got some more chucks. Got some more chucks. So let me show you. It's three pair of chucks that came. One pair I wish I had today to wear with this. But it did not come until today. I didn't think it was going to come until Thursday. So I was like, oh my God, what is it doing here today? You know? Because I knew I had a meeting. A meeting. So I'm like, oh no, I don't like to... You know, possibly have stuff out. The mailman was not going to be home. But, okay, here we go. Here's the truck. Here's the box right here, okay? Going quickly. I did not have a pair of true red chucks. So, I had to get some chucks, okay? I prefer high tops. But these were different because I couldn't just get regular chucks. And this one has, like, this little streak right here, uh, uh, color block. But then, when you look right here, bam! Look at that. You got patches galore. You got chucks patches you got blue patches you got <laughs> what is this uh the animal print patch and you got black patch oh look y'all okay 
okay so this could be for american heart uh, awareness american heart disease and when pink goes red for breast cancer oh not breast cancer but american heart you know things like that i need look okay so i finally got a true red pair the pair that i got looked kind of you know my girl um into me you see look like they were like ronald mcdonald red they weren't red they were like orange but you know so yeah so that's my first true red pair of chucks okay and then these shoes right here y'all and this hair is getting out of order okay and i mean on my nerves Okay, okay, y'all, I'm sitting here with a swivel chair, just trying to swivel and do its own thing. So, I got these. I was, oh, y'all, I wanted a pair, oh, I wanted a pair of platform chucks, okay? I saw some, and I was like, okay, but these were on sale because they had, like, a cold, like, winter 30 or something like that, that you could get, like, an extra 30% off of sale items. So, I got a purple pair, you know, I love purple, and these are kind of crugly, like, cute and ugly. But I got them for like 30 something dollars, regularly a whole lot more. Okay, I'm going to show you the bottom first. Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. So it's kind of rugged, okay? Love the rugged, you know, grungy, grimy. But look, <laughs> this looks like them little cars, you know, the little smart car. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. This is, it, it was so something. It's like a micro suede, maybe. And then it's got black right here. I'm thinking I was going to paint it gold. I don't know. But then it's got this platform. It's going to make me tall, y'all. I'm going to be tall when I put these on, okay? Then it's got the the tab on here. It says Converse Pro Mountain Club. I ain't going hiking nowhere because I just saw that lady hanging on the side of that mountain. And the man on the helicopter swooped her up just as that branch broke. Uh-uh. I ain't doing nothing like that. No. Ain't no need of me being no hiker. I ain't doing it. My daughter in Denver, she be up there hiking and stuff. Girl, I ain't doing none of that. Mama ain't doing none of that. But it's the one star on the side. I got the little laces in the front. Yeah, they kind of crugly. The ends, it feels kind of cushy. Like it might have a little cushion on it. So, uh, while I'm talking to y'all, I'm trying to get out and get this other one. Let me see what it feels like. But anywho, yeah, y'all, so I don't know. They might be still on sale. And it shipped super, super fast. Ooh, I'm taller, y'all. Look at that. She tall. Ooh, I love the way it feels. Like a memory foam. Some kind of foam stuff in the bottom. But here is the pair that I wanted to have. And see, when I told the mailman about it, he was like, well, I opened the box and one of them was missing. And I'm like, you know what, mailman? You're going to get shh. In trouble. I ain't gonna say the word, but it's like a word they use in jail. Shank, okay? But, so this is this particular, like a limited edition, and I, I okay, okay, I ordered another pair, you know, because it was like they had some other limited editions. I got a problem. Not a problem, but I just like what I like. I like what I like, okay? You get what you like. Some people do all kinds of stuff, illicit stuff, but I live and work and share and, you know, you know, whatever, but Look, I made another pair, but let me show you this one first. This was like a limited edition. This one is called the, I don't know what it's called. But look at the box, y'all. Look at the box. It's so cute. But you ain't wearing the box, but I want to show you. Look at this right here. They had like some limited editions, and I don't know how they chose them, but like basketball teams based on who... Uh, hired like some of the first uh, drafted not hired drafted some of the first african-american men to the league and this particular one oh let me not get it wrong nate i don't know but it was from the celtics and this is a satiny looking shoe look at that and it's got the converse chuck taylor all-star 70s okay 1970s boston celtics and i love it because it's green it would have I think it would have gone pretty good with this, but I got something else I'm going to rock this with, y'all. Did I show you the haul from uh, when I went down to Biloxi? Went to, not Forever 21, what's the name of that store, the other one? Whatever. If I did a haul, I'll link it up here. But uh, I got, I can wear this with that for Black History Month, okay? But, look, got the yellow piping and stripes around the side. This material, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I'm not even a Boston, Boston Celtics fan, but... Look at that. I just love the green and the African-American. Oh, I'm going to put it down below because it was like four pair of the first African-Americans that were drafted into the NBA. But look, 
It should be on here somewhere. And look at this. Design on the tongue of the shoe, y'all. Look at that. Oh, child. I love it. Oh, y'all. Let me see if it's on the thing. I'll leave it below. Then it's got the NBA. Is this Jerry West on here? Yeah. Got that. Is it hardwood court or something? Whatever the series is called. What is it called? Y'all, I don't know. Chuck Cooper. This is Chuck Cooper. Thank you for putting this on here. Chuck Cooper is another one. Nate somebody. but uh, Nat. Nat, not Nate. Nat somebody. But this was for uh, Chuck Cooper. Okay, Chuck's for Chuck. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Okay, y'all, goodbye. I gotta go. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Smash that notification bell. Join me on Necalicious TV. And may your heart be filled with shopping joy. Bye, y'all.